Welcome to Style Masterclass, the podcast that teaches women to look stylish and feel confident so that they can show up ready to conquer and slay no matter what size they are. I'm your host, Miss J. You ready? Hello, welcome back to Style Masterclass podcast. We're continuing our lingerie month celebration and deep diving in all the things bras. I'm your host, Judith Gatan, certified master coach, personal stylist, former lawyer, author, podcaster, and your bestie. We're going to talk about bra alternatives today. I gave you a whole class on the three reasons your bra probably isn't fitting. And today I want to talk about some alternatives. I think that this sometimes gets left out of the bra conversation. And it's important to know that you don't even have to wear a bra, which brings me to number one. Oftentimes we forget that we get to decide. And sometimes I'll have people write in and they're really mad and they're like, I don't wear a bra. I'm like, great. I hope you're having a wonderful bra-free experience. Or I'll have clients come and say, well, I don't wear underwear. Cool. I hope you're having an amazing commando experience because you get to create the experience you have. So even if you choose to go braless, there might be some things you need to do to protect your nipples from chafing, like little petals. There may be some things you need to do to protect underneath your breasts, especially if you have a larger breast, from chafing, accumulation of sweat, oils, smells. For those of you who had any candida outbreaks, that's a place you want to look and make sure it stays dry and clean. So even if you choose to have a braless experience, I love you. You're totally allowed to do whatever you want with your body, and I truly mean that. But also check in to make sure you're taking care of the ladies, the breasts, so that you're having the best possible bra-free experience that you can possibly have. Which brings me to number two. Maybe you're not quite ready to go completely braless. Totally okay. There are wire-free options. There are bralette options. There is adhesive tape, booby tape options. And we're going to talk about a little bit of those today. So first, let's talk about wireless. Now, I have a lot of clients who at some point in their life, they decided that wires aren't going to work for them. Some of them are in actual pain. In fact, I have two clients right now who have cysts underneath their breasts and bras are literally not an option for them. In fact, their doctors have told them to stop wearing them full stop completely. One has definitely given up on them and the other one is stubbornly refusing to give up her brassiere. So we've talked about wireless options. For some of you, it's just a pure comfort thing. It's not a medical issue. There's no dire straits involved. It really is a comfort issue. What I want to offer though, and this is important to note, is oftentimes my clients are interested in a wire-free option. And there's some beautiful bras that are wire-free. In fact, I have some wire-free bras just for being around the house. But here's my important caveat, because this gets left out of the combo. Your brush shape is not going to be the same as you see as the models advertise on the socials. Unless they're also wearing a wire-free bra and have the same cup size that you do and have breast shapes that splay or don't the way that yours do. Oftentimes my clients will start on a wire-free journey and they'll decide they don't want to wear wires. We'll get them some options. They come home and they're like, but my titties look so saggy. This isn't supporting them. It's not holding them up. And I want to offer the support just looks different. The cups are literally different than you're expecting. And there's no wire creating that little globe shape that you're used to seeing in advertising. And there's some great options out there that still offer amazing support, but your actual cup shape, the look of your breasts, Where they sit is going to be different than if the bra had a wire. So I don't want you to get discouraged if you decide to try some wire-free options and then realize, wait, it doesn't quite look like I thought it would. It absolutely won't, loves. And that's okay. There's a little bit of a trade-off when we try different bra styles, when we try a wire option or a wire-free option, the shape of your breast is going to look different. 
I want you to be here for this ride, but I wanted to give you a fair warning that it might not look like you expected it to. Now, let's talk about bralettes for a second, because I think they're actually a really great option. Some of them do have a little bit of wires in them, but for the most part, they are completely wire free. They're an alternative to a traditional bra and they're very comfortable. Sometimes they have a racer back. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they come in really cute lace style. Sometimes just like great cotton, really thick bands and they're super duper comfy and they're not quite a sports bra. That's not the same thing. Completely wire free. What I like about bralettes particularly and what I want to offer to you all is sometimes they're really great for sleeping. Now there's lots of different articles about whether you should sleep in a bra or whether it's bad for you or it's good for you or it's perfect for you, it's terrible for you. I'm not here to debate that. I'm just going to give you from my own anecdotal experience and you can extract from that what you will. I actually prefer to use a bralette as a sleep bra. I have very large chest and I don't want to (laughs) accidentally, and I've done this before and it's extremely painful, roll over onto one of my breasts and pinch it the entire night. It's not fun. It's very painful when you wake up in the morning and realize what you've done. So for people's large breasts, I actually highly recommend a bralette as a great way to just kind of contain things so that you can sleep with a little bit more comfort. The other thing that I've noticed with some of my clients who have children in the house who are older and they don't want to walk around braless anymore, um, particularly some of my clients who are moms of teenage boys, if they decided, hey, I think I probably should wear a bra when walking around the house now, bralettes have been a great alternative for them to sleep in and then wake up in and have on and they're ready to roll without having to wear a traditional wire bra and hook everything up in the morning. So I just wanted to show you a few ways that my clients have used bralettes and know that that is also another alternative option for you. Last, I want to talk about booby tape. (laughs) I actually think this stuff is so fun. I actually like the brand booby tape. I've had a lot of clients have a lot of success with that brand. But like all things, I want to give you a little word of warning. Read the instructions carefully. And remove them carefully. You cannot just rip this off. Your breast tissue is so delicate. You have to completely saturate most of that booby tape in oil. Let it sit and then it will start to unstick itself. I highly recommend you read the instructions. Please, 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 please read the instructions. Now, there are bras that look like molded cups that have adhesive tape that really great for backless dresses. In fact, when I was in a beauty pageant back in the day, long story we're not going to get into here, I wore a sticky bra. The problem was the sticky was not so sticky. And as I danced the night away and had so much fun, the damn thing fell off. So booby tape and adhesive bras with stickiness don't have the same level, level of grippy glueiness. So please be aware of that. If you're going to wear a bra that has a backless situation and molded cups in the front, I would just take that baby for a test run before you take it on the test run for a big event or a night out and realize the thing fails. Whereas the booby tape or the actual just pure tape itself is much more sticky, which is why you need to be very careful when removing it. So that's what I have for you today. I want you to experiment. Your glam gal mission, should you choose to accept it, is to maybe play with some of all these alternatives. Maybe you're not quite ready for booby tape, but you can go watch some videos and see how it's done and kind of get a feel for what that's about. Maybe you'd be a little more comfortable in a bralette. Maybe you might want to try some wire-free options and expect it might look a little different than you expected. Go play. At the heart of this is my desire for you to create a bra wardrobe that suits and supports your girls, your breasts, and your lifestyle. Just like I want you to have a wardrobe full of amazing clothing that actually fits your body and your lifestyle, I hope the same for your bra wardrobe. Low barrier to entry, it's so personal to you, and you matter the most, my darling. So stay tuned for more coverage of Lingerie Month. If you want to learn more about how to fit yourself for a bra and maybe all of the bra wardrobe options that are available to you, you can check out the resource guide inside the bra workshop inside of Modern Charm School by going to judaspatan.com 
forward slash modern charm school. Until next time, Miss J out. Thank you for listening to today's episode. To learn more about how to work with me, go to judithgatan.com. Click on the Start Here button to get access to my free personal style class. I give you a quick style win, a confidence boost, and you walk away with the tools to start getting stylish. Who doesn't love that? See you there. Miss J out.